Hoarding starts in childhood and especially in the teenage years. So there are cases reported of hoarding in children and certainly treatments reported for children with hoarding disorder. But for the most part, most people who come in seeking help are probably age 40 and older, often in their middle 50s, so in midlife, and often older adults. But that's not because the problem doesn't start earlier. So one of the important issues for us is figuring out how to catch it early, especially in young adulthood, in order to prevent it from getting much, much worse in older adulthood. In children and adolescents, we would often see very strong emotional attachments to objects, and sometimes an idea called anthropomorphizing, in which the individual imbues the object with human-like traits. So that could happen, for example, to a book, and a child might think of the book as having feelings. That's less common in adults, although we do see it from time to time. One of the characteristics that we're fairly commonly seeing in people who have hoarding disorder is an early childhood experience of a somewhat more chaotic upbringing where uh, they may have moved a lot or they may have had early losses of caretakers, people who died or people who left or moved in or moved out. So that's not an uncommon pattern. We do sometimes see uh, traumatic events that occur early in life. That's not uncommon, but it's not true for everybody.